Hey guys, I'm back with another Sunnyside Tips and Tricks video. Here are 10 things that I wish I knew when I started playing Sunnyside and that the game doesn't tell you. Please like and subscribe if you learned something here today. I'm a really small channel and it would really help me out. Number one, you can display your achievements that you've earned in the form of badges on your backpack. Just go to the journal in your phone, click the achievements tab, and check the ones that you want to be visible. After you've checked the boxes, you can now see them on the back of your backpack. Number two, you can display items like plushies you win from the claw machine as long as you have a display shelf. You get the blueprint from Philip at the woodworking store and you'll need a soft wood block to complete this. Once you have it, you can display plushies among other things as long as you have the display shelves. Number three, get fences to protect your crops from critters and your animals from predators ASAP. Dogs and cats can also help with this, but stick fences are super cheap and easy to make, especially in the beginning. Make some fences, you'll be glad you did. Number four, plastic chests are very useful for staying organized. And Hero sells the plastic pellets for super cheap at Tech Hero, or you can use the recycle machines on the side of the shop to make your own. You can get plastic from collecting sand on the beach, and you can get a bunch this way. Number five, speaking of the bucket, I've seen some people confused about this mechanic. Once you fill the bucket with water or sand, you then need to equip that item to use it. It will turn into a separate item in your inventory once collected, then equip, then you can use. Number six, check the skill tree at the shrine often. Keep in mind items that you need to upgrade skills because Upgrades make your life much, much easier. So look at this skill tree and make sure that you're planning ahead for your future. Number seven, you can donate once per day to get more battle items. And don't forget to use the battle deck in your phone to upgrade both you and Sparky. Battles do get harder, so make sure you're on top of it. Also, you can make an offering here at the shrine for a little bit of extra XP, which is just a nice touch, I think. Number eight, make sure you're keeping food stocked in your bento box. Items like coffee can help boost stamina and give you a buff that helps you keep gathering resources without running out of energy so quickly. Number nine, if you're struggling to find hard wood, you can find it in abundance here on the map. And also, not all items in this game are obvious, so keep your eyes peeled for harvestables that might be laying around and that are not so obvious. For example, there are chestnuts in this area that these big trees drop. Keep your eyes peeled and eventually you will get an upgrade that makes these easier to spot. Number 10, if you get stuck, do not panic. There is a reset button. You go to the pause menu and you can return to your last sleep spot. This is meant more for fixing bugs and when you get stuck, it's not really meant to be used as a fast travel, but it is there um, and it does work without affecting your game at all. And then also, I just want you guys to know that some things are locked behind story quests. If a character texts you to progress the story and says something like, hey, come to the shop, and you go and nothing happens, then you try to talk to said person and they don't bring it up at all, make sure you come back during open shop hours. A cutscene should automatically trigger and this will progress the quest. That definitely confused me starting out, but don't worry, it's not a bug. You just have to make sure you're coming during open shop hours and that cutscene should trigger, allowing you to continue the story. If you learned something from this video, please like and subscribe. I'm a really small channel and it really helps out. And you can make sure that you don't miss the next one. It would be really awesome to reach my next goal of 400 subscribers. So if you learned something, Help me out if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.